Oh boy, did I do something very, very fun. Well, as you could probably guess from the title and the thumbnail of this video, which I already made, so I know what it's going to be. Yeah, OG Scarlet Witch, man. She, she's going all the way up today. She's going to Sig freaking 200. So after Cyber Weekend, of course, rank of materials were no issues. But at the same time, Sig Stones, while abundant on their own in MCOC at the moment, after Cyber Weekend, they were even more abundant. There were just so many Sig Stones to be had. Now, as many of you guys know, I missed out on the pre-12.0 Scarlet Witch days. I got five-star Scarlet Witch very early, but at that time, we were already deep into the six-star meta. At this point, you know, seven stars are coming up, but six stars are still currently the cat's pajamas. So, at this point, I feel like I'm finally ahead of the curve with Scarlet Witch here, we got her at rank three, Sig 200. Now I have a couple buddies who have taken her to rank four. I don't think I'm ready to take that plunge just yet, but she is absolutely very fun. And with synergies, with a certain synergy team, she is mind blowingly good. So how about we watch some footage first? I have a bunch of clips here to show you. How about we watch a fight or two first? and then we'll go over the Synergy team. So first things first, let's jump right in with something just absolutely mind blowing, dude. So we have the 6.2 champion here. And I mean, just watch this. Now, if we had power back boosts on, I could have went right into another one, but we got another one anyway. And now we're gonna run into a little bit of a problem here because we're going to be just so freaking overpowered, so OP that we're gonna be power locking this guy over and over and over. And that's gonna be really bad for this final 10% because we need to dex his special attack. So I'm just kind of going for the heavy attacks here, trying to give him some more power, but he keeps getting freaking power locked. I mean, like, what am I supposed to do? I'm trying my best to give him power. I'm really trying to give him power here. Finally, we can get some dexes going. Okay, let's build back up to one more bar of power on this guy. Huge shout out to the regen buffs, popping us up to 100% health here. There we go. Now, this is great. Gonna go for the special three. I cannot believe that this happened. It didn't kill. I was like, oh, okay, that's great. We'll kill with the special one then. Oh my God, dude. So let's jump over to the synergy section right here. Dear sister, this is that really controversial synergy that didn't have a cap on it, that immediately got the cap on it. As you can see, it's still pretty powerful, but it used to be like absolutely game breaking uh, when there wasn't a stack on the prowess. Essentially, what it does here is when Wheel of Fortune triggers, which is basically when you crit at SIG 200, you have a 90% chance to gain a buff or put a debuff on them, right? But that's the Wheel of Fortune. 50% chance to gain a prowess buff, granting 100% special attack damage for 15 seconds seconds okay now to go along with that down with sigil witch here increased buff duration by 20 percent to go even further with that with spidey 2099 when granting a buff on herself gain 15 percent of a bar of power over three seconds and over here with wiccan critical damage rating is increased by 750 while launching special one or special two that is just so silly when you combine these five champions together. All five of these champions are very good and very powerful. And they make Scarlet Witch on her own is okay, is fun. They make OG Scarlet Witch nuts when you combine her with all of these synergies. Now, before we do anything else, how about we take a look here at Scarlet Witch, on her own, no synergies against Deadpool in 6.4.1, okay? So let's say you're like, all right, but I don't want to use Scarlet Witch with synergies. So is she still good? You know, she's fine. Um, I think she's like pretty outdated on her own. It, it feels to me like, yeah, you know, she can do some fun things. She's a bit of an RNG fiesta, you know, and she's an RNG fiesta with the synergies as well. I just feel like she can do just so much more with the synergies but as you can see right here bam 76k special two and then you start hitting really really hard and i mean like you know 
RNG Fiesta or not, she can do a lot of really good things, man. And she's really, really fun to use as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, we got some more fun clips today, dude. So let's start jumping right in with a bit of, uh, you know, a lane showcase here. We have Resistor. So this is like, you know, the Mystic Champions dream, Mystic Champions playground here. This fight right here is without Mystic Dispersion because it would be way too crazy with it. OK, but we don't even really need it. OK, because what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be nullifying these buffs. We're going to be messing around. We're going to be doing all of these things. Right. And check it out. We're getting some prowess. We're getting some fury and we're going to go for a solid 370k special attack, um, which is OK, which is definitely not too bad. I've seen higher. <laughs> right. This is nuts. Watch this against Drax right away. Bam. Three prowess, two power gains. We have one fury and now we're just jumping up. We just, we stole power. Watch this. Special three with three prowess. We have furies and 300% increased special attack damage. Done. Done. I feel like nobody talks about the special three on Scarlet Witch, but it's actually pretty freaking decent, dude. And what's so wild to me is that even though she is, you know, an RNG fest, even though she is slightly outdated, she still holds up and she is one of, if not the most simple champion in the entire game. When you crit, you have a chance to gain a buff or put a debuff on. When you crit, you have a 90% chance to nullify a buff on the opponent. Special one and special two have increased critical rating and the special three nullifies all buffs on the opponent. You couldn't possibly make her more simple than that. I guess if you made those 90%, 100%, that would be a little bit simpler. But she's just so simple and straightforward. She's really one of those tap the screen, hit them more than they hit you. And if you get lucky, you're gonna have a good time type champions, which is fun sometimes, man. So let's maybe go for a little bit of a winter soldier, see how she does in like, you know, longer casual questing. Um, So here, you know, we're gonna see in the beginning what it's like when you don't get lucky, right? So we're 10 hits in, no crits even, obviously. So no Veil of Fortune, no nothing, right? Okay, she's not looking too great. We're down 3% health on Winter Soldier, but now we're getting some crits. Okay, we got some stuns going. We got some Furies, all right? A big 135K special two, special two crit. And we got the regen going, we got the power gain from Spidey, right? We got the Furies going, oh man. Ooh wee right? Here we go with the special two. Didn't crit. 65K, that's unfortunate, man. I guess, you know, this fight's just uh, not too great. Or, or is it? Because now we have three prowess, a fury, and a 194K crit, followed up by a 81K crit. So that was just nutty, dude. We're gonna go up against Captain Marvel right up next. Keep in mind, these have like 550,000 health. We got the stun right away. We got a prowess going on. We got a cruelty buff. We have a fury and we have regen going as well. Look at all the power gain from the Spidey synergy. She is power locked. We're going for a special three now. We have the three prowess and a fury. She's at 80% health and we're going to really drain that by quite a bit here. So from 80% health all the way down to 56% health. That did 130K, get hit right away, but it's okay because we have regen buff going four days, right? And now we're gonna go in for a special two. Let's see what we can do. We're a poet, we just don't even know it. And we're gonna go in here with three prowess buffs and 55K non-crit, super duper unfortunate, just like the Winter Soldier fight, but it's okay. We're not too concerned because we're gonna finish it off with a 223K special two crit. So. RNG Fiesta, like she is the absolute definition of an RNG Fiesta dude. Um, you know, the synergies kind of make it like her better more often than she's worse, if that makes sense, you know? Um, but dude, when she crits, man, and you get lucky on those buffs, dude, and you get the fury and the prowess, man. You know, I really, I should clarify with this synergy team here, you know, there are five champions, but I would say the most important ones really is just, is Quicksilver is just the most important one. 
you know. Um, you know, Scarlet Witch Sigil makes the buffs last longer, Spidey gives you some power gain, and Wiccan gives you some additional crit rating. But really, the one that you need here is Quicksilver. That's it. You know, that's the one that gives you the prowess that really increases your special attack damage, you know? So, we're gonna go up against that Weapon X in 7.1 that we really like to test out our champions on and just see what we can do. This was the one and only go I went on this Weapon X because I wanted to see, right? I mean, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Like, like this is this is a prime example of what I'm talking about, okay? We got very lucky in the beginning, right? Went in, got a bunch of crits, got some good buffs. You know, we got a regen to counteract the bleed, you know? We got the power gain going on, of course. We got two cruelties and three prowess, all right? And now we're gonna go for the special two with three cruelties, okay? Three prowess and a 275k special two. That is really, that is like seven seconds into the fight. This is seven seconds into the fight. You know, like the timestamp right there is seven seconds. We're, we're seven seconds into the fight. And at least one of those seconds was her running out. Six seconds into the fight, we're at the special two, throwing a 275k special two. That is a lot of, of damage. The, the flex tape guy. That's a lot of damage, man. So, of course, Weapon X is going to be regenerating a lot of this, but that's all right. That's all right. He's in Berserk mode now. Now it starts to get a little complicated, of course, you know. Now we could intercept. We could keep hitting him. But what I think I'm going to be doing here instead, I'm going to be backing off. I'm going to be letting his Berserk get down just a little bit, doing some wall banks here. And now we're going to get a little power lock. Perfect, man. Perfect. And now it's all gone. His Berserk is gone, but we get hit at the very end. But it's actually funny. It's okay because he puts a heal block on himself. Now our special two here did not crit, but that's okay. This fight is certainly not over yet. All right, we're going to bait out a special two. We're going to go in here for another special two of our own. No crit, but 122k. 122k non-crit. We got the regen ticking us up. Okay, we're watching his Berserk, and I want to finish it off with a special one here. 97k crit. 97k special one crit, dude. Come on. Come on. So, two more fights I got here for you, man. Act 7.4 Super Scroll Boss. This is bullet time, right? It's bullet time. Also, I believe it has stun vulnerability. Now, if you don't know how bullet time works, basically when you parry, they're stun immune and then they get the evade charges. So when you do a dex, they're going to get passively stunned and all the evade charges go away. So for each parry, each evade charge that, that gets taken away, essentially you get like one second here. So I want to try to get as many as I possibly can. As you can see, she's quite squishy. She is squishy. She's a squishy little guy. All right. It's definitely a downside to her. No doubt about it. Just from parrying, you know, he has the furies and everything. But here, watch this. We're going to do a little dex. Bam. Get rid of the falter. Now we're going to go in. Lots of buffs for us to mess around with. Big 437k special two. I just want to make sure you saw that. That was 437k. What the hell, dude? What the hell is this? So, Stun vulnerability, 300% increased special attack damage, plus you have the one cruelty. Oh my freaking god, dude. Oh my goodness gracious, man. Now, of course, we had Mystic Dispersion on there, which was making us so much more fun when his buffs went away. One more fight, and this one is an absolute joy. So this is 7.1 Arcus. This is, in my opinion, one of the harder bosses in Act 7.1. Now, this is Power Shield Arcus. We're going to get rid of that power gain right away. We have the White Magneto creep fight here instead of Spidey because Spidey gives us power gain buffs. And there's a note here where that when you get a power gain buff, it turns into like a power drain debuff. It's, it's an interesting note. It pretty much is to counter Dr. Doom. Um, but watch this. Yeah. Power Shield. Power Shield. Watch this. Let's watch it again. Oh, 836,000. 836,000. It's a lot of damage. 
Now, there is not a shadow of a doubt that this is a luxury rank up, right? Rank up, not so much a luxury rank up, but it is a luxury dig up because yes, six stones are, are much more available nowadays. However, at the end of the day, as fun as she is and as OP as she is with synergies, there are still a lot of really amazing current champions who could really benefit from six stones. Now, I know some people with their rank fours, they're very happy with their rank fours, man. I think she'd be a pretty fun rank four. Maybe one day in the future, she'll go up. I have my eyes on um, another couple of Mystic Champions to go to rank four first, but she's certainly a contender. Uh, she's certainly a contender. And she's a lot of fun, man. So, one billion percent, no regrets with this rank up whatsoever. Very, very, very happy to have her, man. Um, I think she's super duper fun. Um, I'm definitely... Without a doubt, going to be using her all the time for cavy Q, casual questing, side quests, stuff like that, man. Gonna pop Quicksilver on the team, get those prowess buffs, you know. I'll probably leave the other champions off the team because they're not really needed for the casual stuff, man. Uh, but who knows, maybe I'll bring them along anyway because all five of them are great champs, man. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop your boy a big old like. Let me know what you think about rank three, SIG 200, Scarlet, which in the comment section below and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any other future rank of videos from cyber weekend coming to you very very soon i got a couple more of those to make i'll be seeing you around man